blue skies today. There, there's some more blue sky. It's amazing. Day 33, I had a little technical issue this morning with the card, and I've said day 33 now, and you don't know this, but I've said it four times, <laughs> and that SD card is now going back to Walmart. It was a high dollar, high read, like high tech, new run of the mill card, new run of the mill, right? but it just doesn't work. So from here, we're about 20 miles to Damascus. We camped at the north end of Watauga Lake up on the ridge, which was awesome. Awesome hiking yesterday, just beautiful. Great time of year to do it too, because there aren't really any views of Watauga Lake, but with the, the lack of foliage, it's all views of Watauga Lake. And this is the AT, Appalachian Trail 2019, for those of you who are just joining us. I got my do-rag on because the sun is overhead and I don't like, I don't like owning hats. I mean, I've got hats, but they're just such a pain to take, take along. So I just put this on when I'm out in the field and then I take it off once I get in the woods. Totally funny though. Um, yeah, just a cool, cool place to hang out here. We're gonna grab lunch in a little bit. We've already gone, we've already gone right around 10 miles today. It's right about noon. And we're doing a total of 20, I think, or 21 today, something like that. Song Sparrow over here. Yeah, it's just a beautiful day though. You only get one of these perfect kind of days every once a week right now. <clears throat> and it's typically between a couple storm systems. And what I mean by perfect day is I mean no wind. Decent amount of sun. Right now, low humidity. No rain. It's just, just a beautiful day. I got it. Look at all the dandelions in the field. Be a good time to make some dandelion tea or dandelion beer. You can make it out of just the the yellow flower of the dandelion. It used to be it used to be called dandelion wine. And apparently, it's really really good. It just takes a long time to pluck all the flowers and then to do the fermentation. And of course, you'd have to find an old recipe because only check this thing out here. This is pretty cool. It's kind of cool how this thing works. Too. See, I can't even figure it out. It's too smart for me. Let's do that one more time. See, so lift up this little ring. Anyway, it's been a great day, and I'll be filling you in with more good information here soon. And we're back. We just put down another five miles. I was feeling a little bonky. Um, bonking is when you run out of energy and you find yourself kind of stuck somewhere <laughs> on a trail, on a bike, running. It's kind of when you just like, your nutrition is just kind of flopped itself. In that last meadow we were in, we ended up eating 
uh, having a little lunch there. It was really a small lunch. I've been, I've actually been uh, eating all day, and my my muscles. And today, something something's funny. My muscles have been really sore. Um, my, my right foot's been sore. My, my right foot is, is a flat foot, so I I put some work into that thing, whether it's stretching it or exercising. Where you know, I put an arch in there, and I do some do some things every day to just make sure that it's it's able to stand up to the challenge. But today, I was just really tired, and it just kind of went along with the soreness in my legs. And I haven't had any soreness um, muscle-wise since I've been on this thing. My cool do rag again. <laughs> um, anyway. Feeling a little bonky. We uh, were walking down to the gap. That uh, there's like this gap at 420 interstate or not interstate at US 421, and um, it's kind of the Johnson County Tennessee line is to the is to the east, and then to the west you have this. It's like like, like you know you got the I believe that's the Cumberland Ridge out there. Anyway. Someone was kind enough to put a box of candy, like a lot of candy. 2%. Shout out to 2%. Thanks for the candy. <laughs> I, ate, I ate an airhead, had a Hawaiian juice, orange drink. <laughs> what else? Oh, I had a uh, lollipop. And two Starbursts, and I feel like a different man. I haven't had, I guess I just haven't had any sugar. I, my, uh, I was trying to like lower the sugar and up the fats and all that stuff. And what, what, what's been going on is we, someone got us on a Pop Tart kick, Pop Tart kick, and one of our buddies, and um, we, we started eating Pop Tarts every morning, like well, when we'd start our hike a couple miles out, or a couple miles in, and then next thing you know, your body just wants sugar all the time. So I've kind of been putting the kibosh on that, but everything feels great right now. We'll see how long this little high works or lasts. Something else too, like I haven't been drinking coffee. Like, I just don't have time to make coffee and it's not very good. You gotta sit around and drink it. You just can't, like I'm not gonna throw mine in a bottle or something, take it with me. So I've just been staying away from coffee. Then I treat myself uh, when we get into towns. Coffee is, Super good. I'm one of these guys who likes some cream and some sugar. So, yeah, my, I just can't do black coffee. It just upsets my stomach. So, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Anyway, I haven't been doing coffee. I did a little bit of it yesterday when we were leaving the Black Bear Resort. And. I think that's the other thing too. Coffee just kicks me into a strange gear, like a good one. Like I feel like if I drink like two cups of coffee in the morning, I don't. I hardly even need to eat most of the time. I can just, I can just push really hard, and my body feels great. It's like my whole body just loves that brown, delicious, caffeinated beverage. So, but I gotta show you this again. This is just just being a beautiful day today. Not like you can see anything really far out there, but it's just like a beautiful valley. We're starting to get into those ridges. They're like the long ridges that just run straight through Virginia. I know we've got, we're gonna go through Damascus and then we got Mount Rogers to get to. Um, and a bunch of rolling hills for some time. I. 
and I know the trail kicks back towards like the Kentucky border. I just a quick disclaimer. I'm not like a real trail pro. Um, that's part of the part of one. Of, that's one of the things I wanted to keep real. <laughs> one of the ways that I could keep myself genuine with hiking this trail, I guess, is that I just didn't want to know every geological feature, every location of every last thing. Um, wow, there's like an old cabin up there, like an old original. Let's see if we can see this from here. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if we can see that. There's a cabin up there on the hill. It's like one of the, it's an old log cabin. It's one of the small original looking ones that you find in these kind of hills and mountains. If you, if you just wander into the mountains and bushwhack for a couple days, you come across all kinds of old homesteads. I know in Shenandoah National Park, when they turned that into a national park, I think they said they had, they, they had no idea but there were like 50 people just living in the mountain um, in these little cabins and they're all over the place I've I've been all through the mountain not all through them but I've been in a lot of mountains here in the Carolinas and, and not on trail like definitely definitely out doing things like like hunting and whatever else and you come across all kinds of really cool old places where you know you could see people lived 150 maybe even 200 years ago it's pretty awesome but today's has just been a beautiful day just just kind of across the board we've been we've been waiting for a day like this for a while and that's why we're making it our long day today even though we pushed through that rainstorm that I didn't capture I think we pushed 18 miles through that we're gonna push and then six miles the next day for a, for a Nero and that was in a rainstorm too we're going to push today to 20 I think 20 miles maybe 21 it'll say it in the at the end of this thing I know that's that's a fact <laughs> anyway I'll, I'll I'll catch back up with you here up the hill just about to do a little just a little climb the, the climbs so after um, after the black bear resort Hampton Tennessee you um, you do a couple climbs out of Hampton and it was just a beautiful day yesterday and now it's like we're getting into these ridge this ridge country you see this climb coming up you get into this ridge country and it's just ridges and hills so you're you're ridge walking, or that's what we've started doing. We ridge walked for like 15 miles. There's a bunch of hills built into the ridges. And right now on our way to Damascus, we're just gonna be hitting all these little hills. And then after tonight's shelter, we're staying at the Abington Gap shelter. It's just a nice smooth descent into Damascus. And I think we're going to Nero in Damascus. Because after tonight, we'll have like nine or ten miles to Damascus. And we're. <laughs> Damascus is built around the hiker. That's what makes that town right now. So we're going to. There's rumor that there's a calzone there that's just ridiculous. I know they've got ice cream. I also know that they've got hamburgers, cheeseburgers, sandwiches. There's a Dollar General for wheat resupply. <sighs> yep. Super nice today. Anyway, I'll be back. Thanks again, 2%. We'll send you a text message like you asked.
Something else that's interesting is that it's much drier. It's been much drier down here. Um, I still, as far as water goes, I still plan on carrying like enough enough water to go five miles, which in this weather is still like 1.3, 1.4 liters. I think I carry, yeah, I carry a 0.7 liter smart water bottle. And then I carry a 0.6 liter um, Catadyne water filter. But here, I mean, they really stretch you out. Water is almost every, there are some spots um, today where water was, you know, there's a water, a few water sources every quarter mile, but then it stretches out and it'll be like four miles, five miles, six miles. Um, after the shelter, it's just, there's a lot, long way without water tonight. So, and then water is kind of far off trail where you actually have to go work for it. What I try to do is I try to find on gut, gut hooks is great. It tells you where and kind of the quality of each stream and people leave all kinds of comments. That's the other thing too about gut, heck, gut hooks is that it's a, it's a, um, it's like a community, um, is it crowdsourced? I don't know, I don't know, I kind of know what that means, I kind of don't, but anyway, everyone who's using it, not everybody, a lot of people who use it, will put a comment in there and it'll date the comment. So let's say you went to a water source after a big rain and the water was murky. Sometimes people write that. If there's no water, I mean, it's, it's interesting when we saw that there was no water in March. Um, March is, this past year, March was a very wet month. And you'll see some, some places where it says, oh, there was no water. Um, anyway, I'm still carrying the same amount. The trees here, let's look at the trees. Like, this, looks, this is starting to look like it looked in Georgia. I mean, you hardly, well, you get a little bit of ground cover on the ground. I mean, we've been out here for 34 days or 33 days now. And over here, it's a little bit greener and there's some green grass down on the trail. But this, this forest just looks drier. And the overall health of this area it actually isn't too bad. But sometimes you'll get into a forest and you'll just notice like it's in like a full decline like all kinds of new all kinds of trees like have been recently falling you, you'll notice that when you're walking around sometimes it's like that see how nibbles is walking next to that huge tree right now we'll go check that out you'll see those falling over um You'll see trees that fell over in the last windstorm, and then you'll see huge areas where just all the trees are falling over. So, I don't know if that has something to do with soil health or some disease that's finally at its full strength and has killed everything off. This, like I said, this forest doesn't look too bad. It's not the prettiest. There are some really pretty forests. Check out that monster. 
doesn't look too big on camera, I know. But, I mean, that tree, if it's, <laughs> this tree might be like 400, 500 years old. And it looks like it's, it looks really healthy. Let's see if it's got, let's see if it's hollow. Yeah, and it doesn't look like, it doesn't appear to be hollow. Sometimes it'll just show your hollow side. It's probably, on average, five feet in diameter or something like that. Yep. Oh, don't get Virgo. This is the first rock wall we've seen. It's pretty cool. So yeah, water. I'm wondering if the reason why these trees really aren't budding as heavy as they were, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 miles back is, or is it just because we're farther north? Probably has something to do with it, but I wonder if it also has something to do with the water. And this, this, this little area here that I'm walking into, this looks pretty kind of sad looking. There's some dead, looks like there's some dead standing trees. Anyhow, just something I've been noticing today. Radar, radar and nibbles. Hi. There's nibbles. <laughs> so we we are opting to hike into the evening like we used to do. It's so nice. We um, hit the shelter, had some good trail buddies there, and the weather's so nice, and the evening is stacking up to be. I, mean, I, I don't know why you need to look at me. I mean, just take a look at. Look at this environment, it's beautiful. <laughs> so we're we're going, we've gone 21 miles. I thought we'd only done 19. Um, but we're gonna do, we're gonna shoot for our first marathon right now, which is 20, 6.2, what? It's the Damascathon. Damascathon. <laughs> it's, it's what we're doing, we're doing our first Damascathon. 26.2 on the way there, and that'll put us five miles out from Damascus in the morning, which means if we get up early, we get to eat breakfast downtown. I gotta get four eggs, three kinds of meat, two kinds of potatoes, three kinds of toast, coffee, water, and orange juice, and a small cup of vitamin D milk, please. I mean, I've got it all planned out. And Smash, was talking about leaving at four o'clock in the morning from the from the shelter that we were just hanging out at because he was sitting in there too. He's gonna he's gonna walk by us here any minute now. Um, half the reason why his name is Smash is because he can smash a lot of food, like he can eat a lot of food, and he smashes miles and mountains. Like the guy absolutely crushes his way over mountains. So. It's a fitting name. Great guy. We've really, we've really had some great times with him. We've been caught. We've so far we've called this trip vacationing with Smash because we've it's been like 20. Uh, well, we've been hanging out with him, I guess now for like on and off for 30 days, pretty consistently. <laughs> Eating food, staying at hostels and resorts. We watch. He and I watch Tiger Woods along with Nipples take back the green coat <laughs> I mean it's been a good time so anyhow we'll just keep on trucking and uh, if I see any good views here coming up I'll, I'll share them as of course or anything else that's cool
Hey, hey. Well, we actually hiked past the marathon point. Now we're going for the state line. I don't even know how many miles that is. We're also, I think we're just gonna end up going to the edge of Damascus. It's, we're probably gonna get there around nine. It's, it's almost eight o'clock right now. We'll camp there and that way we can get up early and go into town. I'm gonna get some new farm defeat socks, socks tomorrow. Hashtag farm defeat. They have some amazing socks. If you guys aren't wearing them, it's because you're still wearing darn tufts, which is a failure on your part. Farm to feet are way better. They're more breathable. They fit really nice. They don't get all crusty. And I mean, you're just not going to get those blisters from them. So I dig them. Everyone's wearing them. And uh, you should be wearing them too. That's my opinion. And they're made in North Carolina, Mount Airy, Elkin, that little area up there. Amazing stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna pick up a new pair of those tomorrow. They all have local names. I think I'm gonna get, I think I have the Damascus Virginias on my feet right now, and that's where I'm going. Um, let's see what else is happening here. Trails just, you know, you hike into the evening and you're, you're rewarded. It's, it's empty. I'm expecting uh, my main man, uh, duck hole. I talked about him yesterday. I'm not going to talk about him now either, but he's doing a 50 miler today from uh, the, the resort we stayed at and he's supposed to be passing by me here anytime now is, is what the word on the street is, but here, just, just take a look at this Yeah, let's get some of that some of that good mountain action out there So I don't know what we're gonna close out today at um just been a great day. There was a little lull in the middle. I was feeling a little bummy because a little, a little, a little bonked. My feet were, um, but I threw another, I threw another shim in there. What I mean by that is I put another arch underneath my right foot. I've, I carry around these like rubber arches. I've got two in there now, and it's it's cured what ails me. My left foot is amazing. Like. My, like my left foot wants to go another another 10 miles. I mean, it's not even, there's no, the whole left leg is just amazing. I'm feeling great. We had that trail magic candy box today, which was also awesome. Um, Smash just cruised by. He said he's gonna try to get down there and hit a bar. I called, I called the bar in town. He said they're closing at nine tonight. So I don't think that's gonna happen. There's a pizza place outside of town that's open. I'm probably just gonna camp right outside of town, eat like a, a light meal this morning, get up bright and early, go to the diner and, and sit there for two hours and just crush food. Um, and then after that, do a little laundry. The town has uh, its own set of showers, so I'm probably gonna hit those up too. Uh, maybe do a, a light load of laundry too. We only have like, you know, two things to wash. I've been wearing the same clothes now for two days or three days. I guess two days since we left uh, the resort. Anyway, let's see what this sign says right here. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this. Entering Mount Rogers Natural Resource Area, Damascus. A pedestrian, three and a half miles. Tennessee, Virginia, state line. Tennessee, you've been real nice. I have no complaints, and I, I and I suggest anyone, anyone out here who wants to go hiking, do the hike that we just did, Carver Gap, which is top of Roan Mountain or the Roan Mountain area. Follow that ridge. Welcome to Virginia, everybody. Virginia is for lovers. Follow that ridge, and um, once you get, yeah, once you get on that. You're gonna go over over the balds outside of Brown. You're gonna go down the hump, down the little hump, and then you're gonna I don't know. You're gonna go into Hampton, Tennessee, which Hampton's just okay. The town is just okay, but the the real reward is that Pond Mountain Wilderness area. That's just amazing. And then when you get here to what we hiked last night and today. This is just phenomenal hiking. Um, it's it's not easy, it's but it's not hard either. 
you can obviously put down huge miles. The views are fantastic, and hiking along Watauga Lake is money. I mean, it's just beautiful. And we woke up over Watauga Lake this morning for that beautiful sunrise. Yeah, you, you camp on the ridge, you gotta watch the sunset over here to my left. You know, I don't know if you can see it, but there's the sunset out behind me. You gotta see the sunset on that side, but when you're on the ridge, you also gotta see the sunrise. So, the sunrise is awesome. There was a nice, the, the lake was all socked in just right down on the level of the lake, so you couldn't see any of the boats or the marinas. It was beautiful. Anyway, God bless. Have a good night. I'll see ya.